Today I'm tearing down a Subaru continuously variable transmission. First off, the output of the transmission is geared to the front wheels and optionally engages their rear wheels. This is not the full-time all-wheel drive that we know. They always like to complicate things by putting the differential inside of the transmission housing so they have equal length drive shafts. But that's how they market their symmetrical all-wheel drive system. However, the biggest takeaway here is that they're using a nice solid chain instead of a weak link belt, which is going to transmit that torque through these variators. Feels like something you'd put in a truck transfer case. Now the problem with these with the torque converter solenoids would go bad and they'd sell you an entire valve body because they don't sell the solenoids separately. Also the torque converter lockup clutch would sometimes go bad and you can see all the particles inside of there. That's due to a bad bushing design not allowing the fluid to release and then this would always be engaged causing you to stall at a stoplight. Now if you ignore that enough all that particle is going to make its way all through its transmission and then you pretty much need a new one. Make sure you stay tuned as this one was a very interesting one being very different from a typical front wheel drive CVT SUV. I mean that's a belt out of 130 horsepower Corolla and this is a belt out of 170 horsepower Subaru Outback. See the huge difference for 40 horsepower.